Hi, this is Mike from uh, Be Wild Pest Control. I'm actually going to do a removal in the subfloor, which is 90% of the time. So, like, if you ever have any questions on if the, you have si brick and siding, as you can see right here, all along that seam is the subfloor, and that's where the bees like to go in. So, um, you know, here at Bee Safe, we try to save them when we can. As you can see, these people said they've been here. You know a few days as you can see uh, they've been here quite a, a lot longer than that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to vacuum them frame the the cones and then transport them tonight as soon as I get them uh, all settled down I gotta find the queen too but as you can see they're in there I kind of smoked them a little bit to kind of calm them down a little bit Ugh, got a little smoker here just kind of calms them down a little bit Uh, these guys aren't aggressive at all, so I mean, these are good bees. You know, all bees are good. I mean, I mean, yeah, if you do get some Africanized bees, you'll know it. I mean, they're very dangerous, but you know, a lot of times, just because they're aggressive doesn't mean they're Africanized. It just means maybe they've been there for a while. Um, they might have uh, more to protect. So, you know, when people are so frightened of bees, of Africanized bees, it's not necessarily. I mean, I've had a few. You know, if they're Africanized, you'll know right off the bat the difference is the aggressive nature of the bee itself. Um, if they're Africanized, I probably wouldn't be able to stand right here. They'd be all over me. Um, and when it comes to Africanized bees, I really don't keep them. I don't want to intermingle them with mine. So um, I got about 150, and I'm trying to put more hives on people's lands. So here's some honeybees right there, as you can see, as I go closer into the actual hive itself. You can see them all around. The workers, they're all female. There's some drones in there with uh, males, and their responsibility is to take care of the queen. Now, the queen itself, you know, she's, you know, lays eggs. The average worker uh, probably lives about two to three weeks. Queens live about four to five weeks. Um, I, once I get them back to the yard, if I get the queen, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I put them in their own hive. If not, I have to requeen them. But as you can see, on the two story, and if you, once you have siding and brick, it's very common for them to get into your subfloor. So, I mean, if you have any questions, please give me a call at 832-464-4119. Um, I always recommend removing the hive. Uh, I, I don't like when, you know, companies come and, and spray them, don't remove the hive. Now you have a hive in there that's attracting other bees and, and honey smell and pheromones that attract other bees. So your house is basically, um, they put it this way, if it's a dark street in your house, it has a light on it. That's how, you know, that's the attractant that you're going to have for other bees to come there. So, you know, do, do yourself a favor and save your money and go ahead and get the hive totally removed. Another thing, cheaper is not always better. So, I mean, if you find somebody who does it for dirt cheap, be, be, please be aware that they may not do it correctly. So you're going to end up spending more money to do it. And then also, you know, get, you know, call two or three companies. Don't just call one company and try to get, compare apples to apples. You know, we got a great program. We warranty all our work. Uh, we try to we do everything the, the right way, so that way, you know, you don't have to pay it over and again. We try to not damage. Uh, we keep the da damage to a minimal. On this case, um, it was hard to really do it because they had a fascia board I had to cut up apart. But I'm gonna try to put it back together. Once again, this is Mike Sexton with Bee Be Wild Pest Control on uh, honey bee removal. And once again, my website is BeeWildPestRemoval.com or BeeWildPestControl.com. Thanks a lot for viewing our videos, and we'll talk to you again.